Tracy from CWP's Involvement Recovery and Wellness Centre and because it's Mental Health Awareness Week, um, we commence on the 18th of May, um, I am going to give my definition of kindness which I feel is about being kind, caring to other people, um, being generous um, and maybe the way we can be kind to others is to give a stranger a smile and ask somebody how they are and listen to what they say and um, maybe bite my tongue on a couple of occasions and be in the eyes. Yes, good boy. Thank you. My mum used to say, kindness costs nothing. I have no idea if this is a quote from someone else or whether she made it up. Kindness can break through barriers by just a smile or a kind word asking how someone is. Just being interested in someone or asking how their family are or how their day has been can transform how someone is feeling. My mum was absolutely right. The people who have left a lasting impression on me are those who showed kindness. everybody so it's mental health awareness week and kindness to me means to be polite and considerate and helpful to anybody without accepting a reward The language of kindness in Britain is often expressed in cups of tea. Kindness is being kind to each other and kind to ourselves. Practicing self-care by doing mindfulness and pampering ourselves is a way of being kind to our minds and to our bodies. I feel that kindness is a gift. It's a small free gesture that we can give to someone and yet it can mean so much. Giving kindness can be rewarding. Receiving kindness can be encouraging and can make someone happy. I'm going to talk to you today for a few minutes about what kindness means to me personally so it's all my experience and, and my view of kindness so thinking about this kindness to me since I was very little and growing up uh, has very much been about kindness towards others so being very polite saying please and thank you buying people birthday presents, Christmas presents, going out of your way, working very hard um, to make people happy. So perhaps with friends and neighbours you might go around, do jobs, cut the grass, help them move, perhaps give people lifts to airports or to the trains or, um, or perhaps if they're upset invite them around for tea or perhaps somebody's come new to live in the area and, and you invite them around for a drink. Um, and you get to know people and, and you spend time listening to people and, and being there and that made me feel like I'm a good person. So that's very much my relationship with kindness all my life.
Kindness to me is taking an extra step to make someone's day. Being kind to others not only helps them, but makes us feel good too. Try doing something kind for someone today, no matter how big or small. So adding to that being kind to others, I now realise and I'm learning a new way of living and that's actually being kind to myself first. Um, and I didn't realise about this, I didn't realise how important it was. I, I always thought it was sort of selfish to be kind to to think about yourself you must always think of others and that's been with me a long time uh, and it's it's taken me a while to understand that, that that's not the case at all so now for the last two years or so I have been um, consciously learning about self-kindness self-compassion being kind to myself looking after myself only because uh, I've come to realise that if I don't, I will become ill. Um, and actually, that looking after yourself and being kind to yourself means that I can be well. If I look after myself well, if I show kindness to myself, looking after my body, so thinking about what I drink, what I eat, making sure I meet my needs, exercising, keep keeping my mood well, um, thinking about all my needs in terms of where I, where I need to work, the relationships, being in healthy relationships like that. I realised if I do all those things and I look after myself, I'm far less ill or absorbed with myself or preoccupied with my own stresses and worries and actually I'm more able to be there for others. And, and then I've read all the science behind this. I've learned so much about this and I've started to practice this. And it's just opened up a whole new uh, world for me that I didn't even realize was possible. Um, and I've actually started being kind to myself, being my own best friend, being on my own side, trying to support myself. And I've been consciously learning how to be kind to myself, which is um, I put a lot of work into this. So I've got lots of uh, books here that I've been reading. So one of the the first books that I personally enjoy um, was reading about compassion um, and the Dalai Lama and Western psychology, um, and he talks about um, happiness. Uh, it's based on that fundamental gentleness uh, and goodness towards all human beings and towards yourself and the value of compassion and a belief in the policy of kindness and that we're all human beings we've all got the similar mind and body and we're all on the same planet and we're all battling a lot of the time um, trying to get to get through life um, so that was a key starter for me of and the Compassionate Mind book by Professor Gilbert about understanding about how the brain works and how important kindness and compassion is to actually um, calm yourself down, to, as a, to distress yourself, to activate your parasympathetic nervous system. So um, initially I started at uh, my mother bought me this book I love this book when I loved myself enough uh, because I didn't when I was coming out of depression I didn't understand what it was um, t to love yourself be kind to yourself so a little excerpt from this is when I loved myself enough I came to know my own goodness um, which I, I love that book it's just a little and reminds you more recently I've been reading um, and studying and I've been on some courses in self-compassion um, it's all about being kind to yourself with Dr. Kristin Neff um, I am finding that amazing and also David Hamilton um, the science of self-love and he's done a, 
a lovely book that I'm reading at the moment, The Five Side Effects of Kindness. Um, and it's fascinating reading the studies, the scientific studies, all about kindness, actually, as opposed to being angry and stressed, it's the opposite to that, being gentle and kind. Obviously, it lowers our heart rate, reduces blood pressure, we're less likely to have heart attacks, um, you're more likely to be calm, cope better day to day. It actually slows aging down, uh, makes us a lot happier, improves our mood, being kind to others. Um, so I've read neuroscience studies which are fascinating. You know, if you're able to be kind to other people, it activates a different part of your brain, compassionate part of the brain, um, which can lift your mood. So volunteering, um, it really helps for people who are struggling uh, to, to lift the mood. And starting to be kind to yourself in the way that you talk to yourself. Um, and it actually improves your cardiovascular system. Um, so you can release oxytocin, um, a hormone, uh, which stops placking up of the artery. So th there was a great study about uh, people who were married. Um, and if there was a lot of hostility and conflict in the relationship, they were more prone to having um, cardiovascular problems, a lot of plaque build up. Whereas others uh, who were kind and gentle towards themselves and, and each other uh, were, were much lower risk uh, and high blood pressure and, and strokes and cardiovascular and things like that. So all of this tells me that kindness is fundamental to our well-being, ourselves, and our ability to to be there for others and to cope with life on a daily basis so it's fundamental um, to us and our resilience um, so the last thing I'm quite keen on is um, explain now I do when I started being kind to myself I, I, did, I didn't know how to do it and I didn't know how to talk to myself kindly I didn't I didn't know the language, um, I didn't know what it meant. So over time I've been um, learning a new language and a new way of self-talk. I've also been practicing um, loving kindness meditations, uh, self-compassion meditations and doing courses on, on compassion and self-compassion and being able to detach from my thoughts and change my thought patterns to much kinder, more compassionate ones. Um, and I found this uh, Pema Chandra and this little book, Awakening Loving Kindness, really helpful for that. Um, so she talks about, you know, you might still get irritable, you might still get stressed, um, you might have those times, but I think it's about making friends with yourself being kind to yourself um, and not judging yourself so critically, critically and befriending who you are now. So we're all a bit of a work in progress. You know, we all do things and say things perhaps that we wish we hadn't later on and we're all just trying to get through life. Uh, but kindness is something that personally has helped me. Um, by actively cultivating it, doing self-compassion meditations and learning how to soothe my anxiety and feelings of grief and things like that. It's helped me enormously being kind to myself um, to make me feel a lot better. So I just wanted to share that little story with you um, because I think personally it can change completely your relationship with yourself, being kind to yourself, which can change your health, your well-being, um, and how much you get out of life. Um, so I wish you all the best with kindness. I'm a massive fan of kindness and actively cultivating it in myself and trying my best that I can to do others. 
Um, I've still got the critical voices, I can still worry at times, but now I've got a whole set of uh, self-compassion strategies or kindness strategies that quickly, the minute I see that happening, I can change and bring into being so I can feel much better. And I think that's helped me cope better. But like I say, I'm still a work in progress. So happy kindness lots of kindness to you sending you lots of kind hugs and compassion and strength and lots of luck and wishes um, for you in whatever you're doing and whatever you're coping with that you can if you've not got a kindness or strength in your life I'm, I'm, you can have some of mine i'm just sending it to you so please 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 don't judge yourself harshly be kind to yourself as well as others and take massive care of yourself. Okay. All the best. Look after yourself.